Stare at 781 AccuBore trigger activated bore gauges provide highly accurate, fast, repeatable measurements and Bluetooth connectivity. Simply squeeze the trigger, insert the gauge into the bore, and release the trigger for an instant reading from the large, easy to read display. AccuBore's parallel anvils extend simultaneously, ensuring true alignment to the bore axis and consistent pressure for accurate, repeatable measurements. The indicator can be rotated and set to any position, so the operator can easily read the display. AccuBore is available to measure holes from 80 thousandths to 12 inches. Both two-point and three-point measuring heads are available in a range of sizes. Custom heads and configurations are also available by special order. Two-point bore gauges are lighter and better at determining hole geometry, while three-point gauges can be seated in position more quickly and precisely. The AccuBore that we are demonstrating today is a three-point gauge with a range from one and three-eighths to two inches. Functions and features are set by the mode button, the set button, and a middle button. A large display makes it easy to read results. To turn on the indicator, touch the mode button momentarily. First, we will set the unit of measurement. Press the mode button momentarily. Unit will appear in the display. Toggle the middle button between inch and millimeter. We will be working in inch mode today, so while inch is displayed, press the set button. Next, we need to set resolution. In inch mode, you can choose thousandths or tenths. For our application, we will use thousandths. Hold the mode button for two seconds, then touch mode momentarily two times. Res will appear in the display. Touch the middle button to toggle between thousandths and tenths. With thousandths in the display, touch the set button. Next, we will preset the gauge to the value etched on the setting ring, which is 1.37522 inches. Touch the mode button momentarily three times. The display will read PRE. Press the middle button. Then press the set button to scroll through the values. Continue to touch the middle button to move right and the set button to toggle numbers until the ring value, 1.37522, is displayed. Then press the mode button to save. Now, we will utilize the setting ring to apply our preset value to the gauge. To reduce error, first clean the inside surfaces of the ring and the gauge contact points. Now, insert the gauge into the setting ring and carefully release the trigger. Press Set. The preset value, 1.37522, will appear in the display. The gauge is now mastered to the calibrated setting ring. To verify, reinsert the gauge into the ring and measure. The display reads 1.37522, so we are ready to proceed. Next, we will enter the part tolerances. This will allow us to quickly determine whether the part is below, within, or above the tolerance as shown by right arrow OK, or the left arrow. Our hole size is 1 in 500 thousandths, with a tolerance of minus 0 plus 3 thousandths. Let's set the tolerances on the gauge. Hold the mode button for 2 seconds, then touch momentarily. The display will read TOL. Press the middle button so the display reads ON, then MODE so the leftmost digit blinks. Continue with the set and middle buttons until the display reads 1.500, then press mode, use the middle and set buttons until 1.503 is in the display
then mode to exit and save. Next, we will turn on the Bluetooth function. This allows us to send measured values to a designated location. You can deliver all data to any acquisition software. First, you will need to install the software onto your PC. We will use VMUX Lite, which supports one tool and can be downloaded for free. You will also need the VMUX USB dongle that came with your gauge. Note that the software can be upgraded to support up to 32 tools. It is good practice to select Reset Config prior to connecting the gauge. Pick up the gauge and press the Mode button for 2 seconds, then sequence Mode 7 times until BT appears. Press the middle button two times until reset appears. Go through this sequence again to turn the Bluetooth on. Make sure that the Bluetooth symbol is blinking. In VMUX, press BT Scan. Once detected, the tool will appear on a list and the AccuBoard Bluetooth icon will be on. The tool and PC are now connected via Bluetooth. If you wish, set your middle or favorites button to zero data. For our demonstration, we will send data to an Excel file. Select Export from the VMUX main screen. The export screen will open. Select In Selected File and Active Channel. Browse to select the destination file on your PC. Then select OK to open the file. Tap the middle button to send the screen value to the selected cell. Press again and that value will appear in the next cell, and so on. Alternatively, data can be sent by pressing F9 on the keyboard or with a foot switch. Now, let's put the AccuBoard to work. Here's the part we mentioned earlier. As noted, the hole size is 1.500 inches with a tolerance of plus three thousandths minus zero. Carefully position, pull the trigger to retract the anvils, insert the AccuBoard into the first hole, and release. The display reads 1.496 inches and we see that the left arrow is on, indicating below tolerance. Measuring the next hole, the display reads 1.505 inches and the right arrow is lighted, indicating above tolerance. Let's check one more. The display reads 1.501 inches and this time the center OK is on, so that hole is within tolerance. And there's so much more. AccuBore is easy to learn and use. The trigger mechanism assures the same pressure from one measurement to the next for exceptional repeatability and increased throughput.